Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm coming to you from Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush is a store that opened in July 2008. It has lots of stuff like suckers, jawbreakers, jelly bellies, ice cream, and more. Sugar Rush owner Sheila King says that one of her biggest sellers is the homemade fudge. I especially love the jelly bellies. Did you know that you mix two chocolate pudding jelly bellies plus one cappuccino plus one peanut butter, it tastes just like my pie? You can spend all day making different flavors. If you come to Sugar Rush, you can't leave without trying the chocolate mocha ice cream. Delish. Sugar Rush is open every day, except Sundays. If you have a sweet tooth, you can satisfy it by coming to 121 South Kentucky Avenue in Lakeland. Come on down and get a Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush. Good morning, DSA. Here's a show for you. My name is King Bling. Ramen's what I do. I'm wearing a crown, it ain't embarrassing because all of my shows are no comparison. Who's my man Garrett with the word of the week? He's got the load on, just keep your seat. Words of wisdom, keep that in mind. Never disrespect, then you'll have a good time. Amber is not just the color of a light or ember. She's got today's lunch that you need to remember. It just takes a few bucks and I get what I need. A nice tasty pizza, heavy on the cheese. Calling someone a name ain't how we roll. If you can't say something nice, then close your pie hole. Thank you, Desi, for pointing that out. Being mean to people ain't what life's about. Marissa's on the move with some classroom fun. She's with Mrs. Woman, then she got it done. Here's a song to celebrate. The day you were born because you are great. Yo, yo, yo! We were sitting in the class being carefree. I was hanging in the book room watching TV. When Hedge jumped up and began to shout, Hey, it's your P day without a doubt. So have a great birthday for goodness sake. I want a slice of your birthday cake. Hey, that's not a part of the song. Yeah, you gotta stick the words of song, bro. I don't care, I like cake. Me too, brother. Me too. The show was done. That's all she wrote. That's all, folks. Hello boys and girls, my name is Miss Manners, and today we are going to learn about, that's right boys and girls, good manners. Do you use words like please, thank you, and excuse me? Boys and girls, those are good manners. We should use good manners, especially at lunch time, and we should be respectful of other people around us. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. We have a special guest for lunch because today is Speak Like a Pirate Day. Jack is here with our lunch. Thank you, Jack, but I'm not sure calling someone a scurvy dog is good manners, but we will work on that. If we want to be number one, we have to look and act our best. Lady and Lucy are here to help us with that. Thank you so much, girls. That was very helpful. Let's take a minute to freshen up a bit. Elena and Marissa are here with our weekly book review. Last but not least, Kinsey is here with the Community Spotlight. You'll never know when Dee Dee and Junior strike back. Tune in next week. Hi, I'm Ben, and I'm at the Hyperbaric Chamber in the Wound Care Center at Lakeland Regional Medical Center. The Hyperbaric Chamber is a place where patients come in and they breathe 100% oxygen. 
and the oxygen helps their wounds heal faster. HBOT, or hyperbaric oxygen treatment, was originally used to relieve scuba divers of a dangerous condition called the bends. Now HBOT is used for treatment for gangrene, problem wounds, or traumatic injuries to name a few. When you enter the chamber, the pressure gradually increases and the temperature will rise. Many people feel fullness in their ears, but the treatment is not usually painful and lasts for about two hours on average. And this is Miss Sellers. Tell me, Miss Sellers, what is this machine called? This machine is called a hyperbaric chamber. And what does this machine do? This machine helps promote healing of patients with non-healing wounds. How does this machine work? Well, the patient gets in for a certain amount of time and breathes in 100% pure oxygen, which promotes healing of the cells and kills some bacteria. Now, I hear that when you step in and you breathe, your hair and nails grow faster. Yes, that is very true. Can I try? Sure. Put this on, open at the back. Ben, your time in the chamber's up. How do you feel? I feel great. This has been your roaming reporter. Back to you in the studio. Hey DSA, I'm here at Maggie Valley, North Carolina at Tony's Tube World. I'm here with Mr. Dave Miller. So Mr. Miller, is this natural smell? It's not natural as you would think of it, but it's as natural as, uh, as it can be. How do you make the snow? All you're going to do is wait for Mother Nature to get the temperature where you want it and the humidity where you want it and then add the moisture, break the water down add the moisture to the atmosphere and let it fall out of the air. Does it have to be a certain temperature? Temperature is very important but not as important as the humidity. The humidity, uh, the lower it is, the more, the better snow that you can have, the higher temperature. I made snow last week at 41.7 degrees uh, with 7% humidity. So the humidity is more of a factor than the temperature. How do you separate the lanes? With this machine over here, uh, you just push the snow where you want it and make your little lanes, little jumps, however you want to design it. Who drives the snowplow? That's me. Are you going to take me for a ride? Just as soon as these people get through playing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Nice meeting you, Benjamin. I am the lunch guru here with the words of the week, or wow. Love, Valentine's candy, and sweet. I have a prediction that today's lunch will be pizza or cold sandwich, corn, Celery with peanut butter. Fruit cup. Milk. Manager's choice and cookie sales. Mershka Hagate. My name is John McCain. I'm the Republican nominee and coming to you from the Straight Talk Express. Friends, voting makes us all equal and is one of the few times citizens have equal power. So get out and vote for me, the Maverick.
I'm on the road here with this week's dirty job. You know, I can't think of a dirtier job than maintenancing a porta potty. Porta potties are made usually for one person and is made of plastic. The waste tank usually has a water disinfectant and a deodorizer. Just like the comforts of home, sweet home. Joining us today by phone is Johnny Bunksworth from Bithlo. Mr. Bunksworth, what is your dirty job? I own a porta potty service called Johnny on the Spot. I supply porta potties all over the United States. What kind of places do you supply porta potties to? I supply them for weddings, bar mitzvahs, chili cook-offs, and the Daytona Speedway. I heard you put in a bid for the presidential inauguration. I sure did. They used over 5,000 porta potties for the inauguration. So that is one, seven, five, carrier two. You do the math. I bet you were disappointed. Yeah, I sure was. I wanted to meet some of them big, them big fancy movie stars. How can we get your services? Just call 1-800-JOHNNY-1. Thank you. We do appreciate what you do. That's right. I'd like to be number one in the number two business. Whew, do not go in there. Hey everybody, I'm here at Cypress Gardens Adventure Park and welcome to this unexpected show of Didi and Junior. Cypress Gardens Adventure Park is going through some minor changes and we're here behind the scenes to give you the scoop. Desi, Dakota, Marissa and I had a chance to see firsthand what these changes are. One of the changes to Cypress Gardens will be that the rides will no longer be available to the patrons at the park. The next person to ride these rides may very well be in another country, like China, Japan, or Brazil. Who knows? Other modifications of the park include the Wings of Wonder exhibit. Let's take a look at Marissa as she bids farewell to all of the birdies. They will be finding new homes too. Bye bye birdies. I can hardly wait until the gardens reopen. We will be able to enjoy the gardens and the ski shows which are best in the state will continue to be a crowd pleaser. Cypress Garden superheroes really fly. Boys and girls, the best and biggest change to the park will be the improvements made to the water park. Many of those changes are not ready to re be revealed, but you can expect it to be the best in the state. Owners Brian Philpot tells me that you can expect prices and tickets to be cheaper. This summer is looking pretty good for Central Florida, especially with the newly renovated Cypress Gardens. I know where I'll be spending those long summer days. Spring is almost here, and almost everyone is going to be outside enjoying the great outdoors. Don't mean to be Danny Downer, but I'm here to tell you about a disease that is on the rise in our country called Lyme disease. Lyme disease is a bacterial illness caused by a spirochete, a bacteria. Lyme disease is transmitted to humans by the bite of a tick that is infected. Certain ticks found on deer harbor the bacterium in their stomach. Lyme disease usually affects the skin, causing a bullseye to have rash. If untreated, the bacteria can spread through the body and affect many body systems, and your joints may ache. Although it is more common in the northeastern U.S., it has also been reported 
in all 50 states as well as other countries. Thankfully, most Lyme disease can be cured with antibiotics. How do we protect ourselves from Lyme disease? Here are three tips to help you protect yourself from Lyme disease. Number one, use insect repellent. Number two, wear long sleeves. And number three, have someone check your skin for ticks after going near wooded areas. For more information on Lyme disease, go to medicinenet.com.